If there's one thing missing in your home decorations this Christmas, it will be pretty clear after you watch this video. Hi, it's me Flo and I've gotten a few questions on my last Twinkly video, so I just want to do an updated version, including some new features and also just go even more into depth because I have actually run into an issue that I want to address and this time I also want to do a side-by-side -side comparison because I do have the 400 and the 600 LED light strings. So without any further ado, let's just take a closer look at what Twinkly is all about. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. It comes with a power adapter and a controller. And as you can see here, it is separated into two different cables. So I'm gonna bring it up so you can see. It has two strings of LED lights. And the one that I'm holding right here is the 400 LED lights. And when it's all ready and done, it will look like this. And this one is the 600 LED lights. I'm not gonna make you wait, so let's just jump straight into the fun part. And I will show you how to set it up after this. First, we are going to go to the Twinkly app. From here, you can either draw or design your own effects. So you can do this by clicking here. And if you wanna draw, you can just click here, choose a color like blue, and you can draw like just like this. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you another effect like this one, and you can customize it to whatever you like. You can change the colors, for example, like green and red and yeah, what you can also do is you can just go to a previously downloaded effect gallery and these ones, in my opinion, is the ones that I think is the best ones. So you can go from this or you can do like this one is for my American friends. It's supposed to be the American flag. This is the scanner. Yeah, or you can do this one, a little trippy. They even have like um they have like a reindeer like this one but the lights you can see it's like jumping <laughs> i don't know if you can see it yeah personally i like to go for something more like subtle like like this this one is really nice for christmas or you can let the music control the lights but then you will need to get the twinkly music plug which is in my opinion totally worth it it looks just so cool when you see the lights just j jumping to the rhythm of the music Each lights have 16 million RGB colors. It is also weatherproof with an IP rating of 44, which means that it is protected against solid object bigger than one millimeter. And it also protected from water splashing from all angles. In other words, it is intended for indoor and outdoor use. All twinkle lights can be synchronized together up to 4,000 LEDs or 10 devices. And it also works works well with smart home integrations like Alexa or Google Home. Personally, I have Google Home and I use this all the time for like turning it on and off, but you can also use it for like changing colors or the brightness. So that is pretty cool. The lifespan of Twinkly is actually quite good. It is 30,000, I mean over 30,000 hours. So if I'm done my math correctly, it translates to almost 3.5 years of non-stop usage. But in my case, which is like just Christmas lights, it's even more. More accurately, the lights can be switched on for 24 seven, entire month of December for 40 years. I will be 68 years old when I need to buy new ones. And best of all with Twinkly, it is not supposed to be just for Christmas or like a seasonal product. You can use this all year around for like 
other kinds of home decors. It is all about creativity. It could be a part of your gaming setup, it could be summer nights with your friends in your backyard, or you can decorate your trees and your bushes, or it can also be another seasonal product to enjoy such as Halloween. But quickly, the main differences between the generation one and generation two is that you can add playlists and it has expanded memory on the generation two. You can use voice command on generation one, but you can only adjust brightness, while with the generation two, you can also change the colors as well. Generation one has an IP rating of 20, which which means that it's not protected from liquids and waters like it's not used um, you cannot use it outdoors is what I'm trying to say while the generation 2 as I previously said it has IP rating of 44 so it is approved to be used outdoor generation 2 has renewed their light bulbs so it is now longer and thinner you can only get 225 oh no. LED lights with the generation 1 while with the generation 2 you can get all the way up to 600 LED lights, which is the one that I have right here. Generation 2 was launched in 2019, and in conclusion, I would say that you get much more value from Generation 2. All right, so now we're going to compare the 400 LED to the 600 LED. So what is the main difference and which one should you get? basically. <laughs> so of course, the biggest difference is just the amount of LED lights. And with the 600 LED, you will get 48 meters of lights. And with the 400 LED, we just get 32 meters. I've now changed to the 400 LED version. And due to the decreased amount of LED lights, the tree will show the effects in a perceived lower resolutions. With the 600 series, because it has a higher amount of LEDs, it will result in a higher pixel density, which again results in a more natural and fluid look. Oh, but one downside by adding more pixels is that you get more wires. In daylight conditions, this may take up considerable amount of space and attention. So that's something to keep in mind. The power supply to the 400 and the 600 series are interchangeable. Aside from the amount of LEDs, they both utilize the same power adapter, the same controller, they both have two rows of lights and they share all the same um, functionalities. You can even merge 400 and 600 together to create one large logical device. This means that you can see the effects playing across both lights as one big light. I will show you this later in this video. And if you're still not sure because of the height of your tree or some other reasons, you can actually go to Twinkly. They have their own, like on their own website, they have like a LED calculator, which is pretty cool. All you do is you just type in the height of your tree, your desired decoration level, which has to be no less than fantastic. Okay and if the lights should just cover one side or all around the tree. Click start uh, animation and you will see a visualizer of your tree. I mean, how cool is that? I'm gonna link it down below in the description box for those who are interested in that. As promised, I will show you the installation process. Put your lights anywhere you want. You can do straight, zigzag, or roundabout. It doesn't really matter because when you map it, it will look the same regardless. Download the Twinkly app on your phone and create an account. Choose the type of Twinkly device you want to connect. In my case, it is the Generation 2. Hold down the button until you see a blue and green light, then release. You will now map the lights. All right, so now we're going to map the tree together. So the way we do this is by clicking on layout, map lights we are going to choose the advanced mapping because it's just a lot better click next now we need to make sure of a few things so make sure you can go around the decoration with a good degree this is not ideal because i'm just this is just a setup for this video so i cannot walk properly around the tree so don't do this mistake okay avoid reflective surfaces behind the decoration just like windows <laughs> i'm not the prime example so just follow what it says, okay? Keep the phone steady during the process and ensure moderate ambient light, not too dark. Now we are going to choose the front of this tree, which is going to be this way. So I'm gonna walk over here and then click start mapping. 
Make sure all of the lights are in frame, give it a few seconds. Once it's done, the color on the tree is an indication of how far you've come. Our goal is to get as many green lights as possible. Move the point of view slightly to the side and repeat this step until you covered all angles. The only issue I've had so far with Twinkly is the power adapter. I got the lights like last year and since for me this is just a seasonal home decoration so I put it up for Christmas and then I store it away. So I haven't touched this be since like last year and when I uh, brought it back into the house and I wanted to install it again I noticed that the power adapter wouldn't switch on. Since I am lucky that I have two of the lights, I tried switching between, like I, I had my suspicion that it would be the adapter. So I switched it and then it worked. So both lights work, but it's just the adapter. So I reached out to Twinkly. I emailed them my issue and they responded really quickly and they were so nice and told me to just uh, email their uh, photo and then I would just get a new one. So I was actually really surprised by how nice and how well they treated me. And then I went to the website and I looked at their FIQ and I noticed that this is actually a common problem with some of the productions. So if you ever run into your power adapter not working, I would recommend just emailing the company and they will most likely just send one for free to you because it is not supposed to break that easily. This is how you create one large light. Go to devices, click on one of the devices you want to connect, choose area, name your new group, and then give it a few seconds. You'll have to map the lights once again for it to look seamless, but you are already a pro at mapping at this point. And just like that, you have one large logical device. You can connect up to 10 devices if you are feeling a little crazy. I think I covered everything that I needed to say. If you feel like I've left something out or if you have any kind of questions, please let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed watching this video, you most likely want to stick around because I'm going to make a video about my Leafex lights, which you can see here. If you haven't already noticed, I have Leafex lights in the entire house. If you want to see it, please make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna make a lot more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching.